very good morning my friends how are you i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is salah speaking so of course as usual we, ha we have to start by showing off our results from the extreme trader forex signals group which i'm really sure is your favorite part of the video right <laughs> okay so as you can see we had really amazing start uh, monday and i think this is this was tuesday uh, yeah, these are the results of Monday and Tuesday actually were amazing and we're actually in very deep profit. However, Wednesday, uh, this is the Tuesday, then Wednesday we had these losses unfortunately and we had to explain to the members that what happened was not our fault because it happened due to the unexpected news that China has closed their Houston consulate in the United States and that has unfortunately affected all of the signals we have sent because this news have affected mainly the USD dollar and the Japanese yen and all of our signals were included with that with these two pairs uh thursday also we were struggling with the market however we managed to end the day in a good profit uh, but friday was really great great day friday it was a stressful however in the end all of the signals have reached the take profit levels all of them we managed to close with almost 90 pips of profit against AUDCHF only four pips of loss we are doing as i said my, my friends our best we are doing the best we can do to control your funds and to reduce your losses to the maximum in case they happen and for those who say that we manipulate the results or we are not showing the reality then who are these people in the in the in the feedbacks who is this guy i have made more than three times what i lost tonight thanks for the great work you and say salah please accept my gratitude and looking forward for tomorrow's signal so extreme trader signals are great thank you salah and angela so these guys who are sending these messages who are they they are the clients who really are getting benefits from our signals they understand how these signals are working and if you think that we are manipulating the results or we are not showing the reality of the signals then please take a look of on our extreme trader free group and look at these messages they are posted right there we have tons of them actually we have literally thousands of messages over the past three years and um, thankfully so many of them thanking us and very happy with the service so in the end if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so right now let's move to the weekly analysis and as usual we will begin with the euro usd uh, first of all of course we need to understand uh, the us dollar it is still not recovering at all we can see that it has completed a form uh, a full month actually of the bullish momentum especially this last uh, week uh, the, the euro usd has rise or sorry has rose for two thousand for 251 pips and definitely is gonna continue the rise until it hit the resistance at 1.1708 now by reading the news and analyzing it <coughs> based on fundamental analysis uh, sadly, we can see that the U.S. records a thousand coronavirus deaths for the fourth day. That's definitely going to be very bad for the currency. And until now, the United States is unable to open the business as before or as they as they were expecting, especially in Florida and California and Texas. And therefore, um, we can expect from the U.S. dollar to continue the fall, and hence we can expect now from the Euro USD to continue the rise again. So what we are going to do this week, we are going to again sell the dollar and buy against it. That being said, going to the 4-hour chart on the Euro USD, I believe we can start the buy right away because actually the pair don't have any, any signs of any reversal at the moment, especially seeing this strong bullish candle. I don't see any chance for the pair to reverse at the moment. And if we look to the smaller time frame, this, this is, by the way, the weekly chart. Let's move to the four hour chart and let's look at the left to find any strong support or resistance that we might expect the pair to reverse at. So I'm just scrolling to the left. And as we can see, uh, the pair has actually closed right here at that resistance level. And what we can see right here is the strong key support level right here, exactly right there. So we can expect for the pair to uh, reverse for no more than uh, 20 or 30 pips before we can start buying the pair. However, I think this is going to be our safe zone 
and instead we are going to place the buy order right away therefore uh, that is going to be our level where we can start actually buying the euro USD exactly right here so the point is we need to start the buy immediately and we can keep the trade running in this safe zone however I think it's uh, really too small but mean that being said I really don't think that the euro USD can even fall below to, to that support level however we have to be careful and let me go to the one hour chart just to be sure yes I'm very convinced about what I'm doing yes that is going to be our safe zone so actually the euro USD <coughs> sorry uh, by the euro USD uh, right now on the level 1.16562 sorry um, okay buy now at zero point at one point what is this okay I fixed it so this is this is where the uh, where we are going to start buying the uh, euro USD and let's tell let me tell you where we can keep the thread running we can keep the thread running all the way until it hit that resistance level on 1.17673 and honestly speaking with the current situation of the US dollar I think the pair is even gonna exceed that level of the resistance but however that's gonna be our take profit level and we're going to place the buy order immediately and that resistance level right here on 1.16201 is gonna be the edge of our safe zone that being said let me just set the take profit level on 1.1708 and that should provide us at least almost 120 pips of profit hopefully we are gonna make them all now for the uh, pound USD this is this is from the euro USD by the way I don't know why it's happening right here anyway uh, for the pound USD actually if we draw a support zone right here or sorry a resistance zone like that exactly we can see that the, the bear on Friday night ha was able actually to close inside this uh, zone that being said of course that means that the bear is gonna continue the rise as well same as the euro USD it's very simple and there is no need to explain more therefore we can start by the uh, pound USD right away at the level 1.28007 and that zone is gonna be our safe zone of course as well and it's gonna be lasting for almost uh, 48 pips let me just draw for you the safe zone inside the uh, the zone here and for the tech profit level uh, for the tech profit level my friends I have set this previous support level right here remember we are right now on the daily candles so that previous support right here is gonna be set our uh, sorry as our tech profit level so we can expect from the pound USD to continue the rise for almost 104 pips hopefully gonna be in profit so the take profit is gonna be at 1.29053 actually as you can see the the analysis this week is very simple because simply the dollar is falling down and it's really easy to read the market this week because I don't see any chance for any potential reversal on the on the dollar it's gonna continue the fall definitely uh, especially that it has recently made uh, the breakout of a support on DXY level oh sorry on the DXY uh, pair going to the AUDUSD AUDUSD has also made the retest on the broken resistance level at 0 0.70580 and it has already made the retest that being said the AUDUSD is going to continue the rise I think that was our take profit uh, that's the take profit level yes I have already marked it by the way uh, the take profit level will be set right here on the top of the resistance on point on 0 0.72005 now let me just uh, show you where is gonna be our safe zone actually it is right here it is right here uh, let me just uh, be sure yes exactly so this is the level where we can actually it's the current price this is exactly where we can start buying the uh, USD uh, AUD USD sorry my friends so we can start buy now the uh, AUD USD at the level 0 
and that's gonna be our safe zone to keep the thread running exactly like that uh, it's gonna be lasting for almost 50 pips and I don't really think the pair is even gonna uh, go inside this zone and our take profit level is gonna be as I said on the top of the resistance take profit at 0 0.7205 very simple very quick analysis this week as I said because the uh, dollar is so easy to be read uh, this one here as well the USD CAD the USD CAD we can see that the pair is moving in a bearish momentum and this pin bar here it doesn't really trick me at all it's obvious that the dollar uh, is not doesn't have the enough strength to reverse right after happening uh, the, the appearance of this pin bar so looking at the daily candle for the USD CAD we can see that we had here a pin bar right but we can look at the next candle it closed like that that means that if if this candle was full blue like that then that's a different story it means that the dollar has a strength to actually continue the rise to retest the broken support however since the candle has closed like that in the middle between the uh, the battle between the bears and the bulls it's obviously meaning that this pin bar doesn't really mean anything and the pair is gonna continue the fall that being said we are having right here the strong key support level on 1.3144 that's gonna be our take profit level and for the sell we are gonna sell the USD CAD right away as well sell now at 1.34254 uh, just a second alright that's better and that's gonna be our uh, let me just draw for you the safe zone okay the safe zone is gonna be right at the top of that previous support level exactly right here so it's gonna be actually we can set it higher at the top of the resistance exactly like that yes so let me just uh, draw the shape inside the safe zone uh, it's gonna be last for almost 55 pips I really doubt that the pair is gonna be able to reach that level so we are looking for almost 107 pips profit from the USD CAD let me just write for you the take profit level which is gonna be 1.331 1, sorry 1.4 so hopefully it's gonna be also a good signal and we're gonna make some good profits out of it moving right now to the USD GPY uh, USD GPY is not like the other currencies actually it's different because right now we are talking about the GPY uh, which is actually one of the reasons what's happening in the market right now uh, what I mean by that is the economic war about uh, or the argu argument happening between United States and China so that being said actually I think after seeing this strong bullish candle on Wednesday or on Friday evening it seems like the used the used GPY is gonna still is still gonna be able to continue the rise until it hit that previous support level right here let me just draw for you, draw, it, draw it for you exactly right here uh, that strong key support level on 106.4.481 is gonna be retested uh, by the used GPY definitely that's gonna be our best level to start shorting the pair and let me just draw for you the safe zone where we can skip the thread running maximum for that yes I think yes that's enough there is no need to be higher than that I think so um, it's just let me just be sure at the top of the resistance exactly right here yes so we can look for almost uh, 47 uh, pips uh, potential loss but however I really doubt that the pair is even gonna be able to range to, to reach that level so uh, USD GPY should be good for the sell at the level uh, 106.481 and as I said my friends this is gonna be your safe zone where you can keep the thread running and if in case the pair is gonna fall as we expected we can set the take profit level on the support level on 105.038 which was also a very strong key support level in the past and definitely if the pair is gonna break out of that support level right here it's gonna continue the fall to hit our previous support level which is also the take profit now moving to the USD CHF as you can see the USD CHF as I have expected in the last midweek analysis video it has went all the way down to the support level and it was it actually closed very close 
to the uh, 0.91845 support level now that being said what's gonna happen with the USDCHF let's move to the smaller time frame let's go to the one hour time frame and I believe we can expect the pair to reverse for a few pips however uh, for the USDCHF is gonna be exactly the same as the other currencies we are gonna start this short right away and I'm gonna give the signal to sell now at 0.92075 and for the safe zone it's, it's gonna be last at least for that previous uh, resistance level right here so it's gonna be oh no that's a lot that's a lot I think to that previous support it's enough yeah 56 pips and I really highly doubt that the bear is gonna be ev able uh, sorry even able to enter that safe zone I think it's gonna continue the fall right away at the opening uh, on Monday so uh, go back to the monthly chart I need to just mention for you the take profit level remember how the market is falling down I had to go to the monthly chart just to be able to see the tech profit level which is going to be on the support on 0 0.90948 exactly like that go to back to the daily candles and we can see the top of the tech profit level right here it's mentioned uh, right here yes exactly my friends that is the support level right here which is uh, what, what, what I'm expecting actually from the USDCHF to continue the fall and is gonna hit it eventually now moving to the gold the gold has also rise uh, or sorry has rose to un, uh, uh, I mean that level has never been reached in the last uh, nine years if you remember from the last uh, midweek analysis video I told you we will see in the news that the gold has reached the highest level since 2011 or the highest price since 2011 that is exactly what happened uh, right now it's in the news and everyone is talking about it so what's gonna happen next with the gold now looking at the monthly chart we can see that the gold is still gonna continue the rise until it hit the take profit level look at that I'm immediately going to it uh, the, go the the tech profit level which was the highest level that the gold has ever ever reached in its, histo its, its history uh, is gonna be one point oh, sorry 1920.48 and that's gonna be our tech profit level and now for the buy let's move to the one hour chart so we can tell exactly where we can start buying the gold in the safe zone now since we can see that on the level of 1897 we can see that we had this broken re this resistance which has recently been broken out from and already we can see that we have right here a support number one and we can expect from the market since the candle has closed as a red candle uh, we can expect for it to fall a little bit more down to create support number two and then from that point we're gonna start again buying the pair so the gold is for the buy at the level 1897.32 and the safe zone is gonna be ranging between that support level li just like that so it's gonna be almost uh, 74 pips hopefully it's uh, not even gonna reach it like that and for the take profit as I mentioned my friends it's gonna be we have to go to the monthly chart to see it uh, tech profit is gonna be 1920.48 now of course as usual I'm telling you if something happened if something gonna change these signals if unexpected news appeared uh, if Mr. Trump have made any unexpected tweets or something I'm gonna immediately uh, post the midweek analysis video even if I had to post it on Monday night or Monday evening sorry I'm gonna post the midweek analysis video right away if anything happened will which might actually change the direction of these uh, signals but for the meantime I believe they are accurate and hopefully uh, this week is also gonna be very profitable those who have been following me for the past uh, two weeks they know very well that the signals have almost 95 percent of accuracy and almost all of them are reaching the take profit level so in the end I really hope it's gonna be a very profitable and good week for everyone and in the end also I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching